So you're cruising down the highway or you just started your truck and you've noticed it's been harder and harder to start or maybe it won't even start anymore and you find out that you got some bad batteries and so you replace them and you start to smell a funny noise shortly after you've replaced the brand new batteries and they smells like that the one battery is burning up. If you've never smelled the smell of a battery, then you may not know what that smell is, but if you have, you'll recognize it real quick. You go out to raise the hood, and you can see that the water has been boiling out of that brand new battery that you just put in. You get a voltmeter, you check the voltage, and it's showing it's got 18 volts, which is way too much for the battery, and that's why it's boiling over. But it's not the alternator's fault. But you might think it is and replace the alternator and still not fix the problem. You can't figure it out because you look on your dash and it's showing 14 volts just like it always has. But you can smell the smell of the, bat or the battery. You can see the water's been boiling out of it. So you think, ah, oh, I got a junk battery. So you send it battery in get it warrantied put a new one in it and it still keeps doing it what is the problem why is it doing this this happened to me this happened to me in this truck and I have fixed it so when I show you what's going on outside it's already been fixed and the battery isn't boiling over anymore but if you own a Dodge Cummins and it has two batteries it's not a matter of if but when this happens, I'll raise the hood and show you the rest of the story. So you get out and you raise the hood and you get your voltmeter out. And you check the volts across the battery. When you check the volts, you find out the engine or the alternator is charging 18 volts. Well, you just saw on the dash it was only charging 14. Why is this battery getting charged 18 volts? Your first thought is that you got a bad alternator and it's time to replace it. You do, it won't change the problem. It's not fixed. It's not, it's not what the fix is. So, you go over to the driver's side battery and you hook the voltmeter up to it. it shows 14 volts just like it shows on your dash so you're saying how in the heck can the alternator charge one battery at 18 volts and the other one at 14 when you get in this situation this is the first thing you do to figure out where the problem is first thing you do is you check the voltage here it should say 14 volts now check the voltage here on this bolt where this power cable comes in if it shows 18 volts your problem is in that bolt right there resistance is so high that it can't get enough voltage of this battery to charge at 14 volts now this is the kicker and this is the why, reason why it'll blow why your it'll boil your battery to death on the passenger side. Your ECM reads battery voltage on the driver's side. Okay? So it keeps telling the alternator to charge and charge and charge and charge some more until you get 14 volts to this battery, which means the gauge and the dash it says it has 14 volts too. Everything seems to be happy, but the alternator or the alternator is charging like crazy trying to get past the resistance in this bolt. Now, you may check this and go, hmm, 14 volts here. Hmm, yeah, there's 14 volts here. That means that that bolt is not your problem. Go back over to the passenger side. And you do the same thing 
So you already know 18 volts but do you have 18 volts here or here the alternator is trying to get 14 volts over to that battery and if you have resistance in here the alternator is going to keep charging and keep charging and it's not going to make it through so you'll have 18 volts here and you'll have 14 volts here because the resistance is in this bolt. The terminals are perfectly clean. The battery got changed. They cleaned the terminals, but the corrosion's in the bolt. So you have to take this apart. You have to undo this bolt and you have to pull this bolt out. I'll show you pictures of how nasty they look and what it does. And getting that bolt out sometimes isn't fun. You might have to spread these ears back out to get the hole square enough to pull the bolt out. But once you clean that bolt, once you have voltage across here, and you'll know you got it right when you're done. If you put it all back together and you have 14 volts here, you have 14 volts here, you have 14 volts over there, you know you fixed it. This isn't a if but when. All the years of driving these things, that corrosion just keeps start building up in there. And pretty soon it'll get to a point where it's stopping or resisting the flow of voltage. And when that happens, this battery will get cooked. It'll literally boil all the water out. I just washed this battery, but this is kind of what it would look like. It would look like it's got water coming out of the caps and boiling off of the battery. And it'll destroy this battery because it's not meant to hold 18 volts. But it has to push 18 volts through this battery to get through the resistance to feed that battery 14 volts. Even if this hasn't happened to you yet and you own a Dodge with a Cummins engine in it with dual batteries, take that bolt out and clean it. Put some dielectrical grease across the battery posts or across this bolt so that the corrosion can never get back in there. So that it puts a barrier there. So even if this battery leaks that battery acid everywhere, it can't get into there because it's sealed off with dielectrical grease. Get out there and check your Cummins out. You might be able to catch it before you ruin a battery.